Next, what I'm going to do on this 90 Yamaha, it's a TLRY. I'll show you the model over here on the side. So F is for four stroke and then 50 horsepower. TLRY, the model year is 1999. There's a sticker up here too. So to go over this, the idea is when you're going to do a water pump service, you know, on a lower unit, whether it's an outboard or stern drive, you know, you, you want to follow the book. But the big thing is to understand that you have to replace the components, not just the impeller, you know, and the O-ring, which is a lot of people try to cheat. It's not worth the price of just ordering that. And then you get the pump apart and find out that, you know, you need a wear plate or you need the cup. So what I always do is I recommend you order the whole kit. So the, this kit number, 63D-W007801, and I'll show you that kit. It's not that expensive. On the scale of things, this is the protection for your whole engine. So, you know, make sure if you're a, a technician and you're watching this because you're trying to figure out how to get a better idea and understand of this, that, you know, always tell the consumer that it's important that you get all the parts that you need for the job. So as you can see, the bolts come with it, the wear cup comes with it, the impeller comes with it, you know, the wear plate on the base comes with it. Um, you have the upper plastic guide piece comes with it that's up here in the picture. So that piece comes with it. The rubber seal that's really important, this is a rubber seal that is up here in the picture, number 11, and that accepts the water tube. You know, and that's that component over here. When you look up in here, that's that water tube right there, and that grommet fits over there. So, you know, idea of reusing a rubber grommet exposed to some exhaust gases, probably not a good idea. Think about that. And then, of course, the O-ring and, you know, and the gasket. So you got all the bolts, you got everything you need, and you're not skimping. You know, um, just buy the kit, spend the extra few bucks, and get the whole kit. Um, and that way, you, you know what you got when you put it back together. So I've taken the fins off already, and those were um, overlapping the anode, which is underneath here on the cavitation plate. So your cavitation plate has that anode, and they've drilled through the anode to put the fins on. That's a first. I've never seen anybody do that. But you got to take that off. That's first. And then underneath that, there's a bolt up here, which I've already taken out. All right, so here we are. I got the lower unit off. There is a spline shaft, so there's nothing to disconnect like some engines. And I always like to try to take the bolts off first. Um, it does take a 12 millimeter socket. So I wanna try to break them loose first to make sure they're not frozen in the lower unit housing. And see how we do here. Yeah, I think somebody's uh, changed these in the past years, which is nice. Wasn't me, but at least somebody else has been in here. And these bolts are a little crusty. Definitely factory bolts from Yamaha. And these are all going to come off real nice and easy, I can tell. Okay, so we can zip these off with an impact gun. Save yourself some time here. Whoop, down the exhaust pipe. Gonna have to push that one out. So now this engine's new to this consumer. The guy that bought this boat, he doesn't know anything about it. And my recommendation always is cheap insurance, you know, change that water pump. It just doesn't make sense. No, not to protect your investment. And I like that stand because I can just take it out and get that bolt back out. There it goes. The new ones come with a kit, so I don't have to worry about that one. I'll fish that up with a magnet later. So pull that off. Okay, it doesn't look too bad, but you know what? I got the whole kit. And... There's definitely been a little bit of dry running here. You can see the rubber's a little bit worn in here. So, yeah, um, definitely, you can see this has been started dry. 
Yep. That's a not a good sign. Plus, it's pretty set. It's definitely um, a great investment to put the whole kit in here. I don't have to mess with it all. You know, if one thing I'll make note is if this engine did overheat. The exhaust can run in here and it can actually melt this housing. So this housing you may have to replace. But we're going to change the O-ring, the cup, the base. Don't forget the key. The key's over here in the shaft. You have to get that key out. Rotate that in position. So you're going to take a... Dig that key out. That key is something else you always want to replace. That should be in the kit. Change that key. Okay, we're going to pull the, the pump off. And I'll just fast forward through this. I'll give you a quick reassembly of it. Okay. Make sure you verify that that key is stuck in that impeller. You didn't have it fall down. Now the impeller housing has a key spot right here. And you gotta make sure you line that up. So when you're gonna put this together, it's nice to just kind of index it. And I'll kind of do it by eye here before I put it back together. And then make sure that that fits in there. If it goes in there correctly, you'll see it's flush. Flush with the surface. Now we have little uh, areas for the new O-ring to actually be held in place. So I pulled the old O-ring, put a new O-ring in. So I have the water pump all reassembled here, you know, new grommet under that plastic base, torque the bolts, everything's put back. Okay, we're going to put that lower unit back on, and I'll give you one little tip here. Um, I hooked my starter button up, so you can bump the engine over when you're ready to put the lower unit in, because you have to line up the splines. It's in neutral, the drive's in neutral, so what I'm going to do is slide the lower unit up, and to get the drive shaft splines to line up, I'm going to just bump my starter button. So I'll show you that. Put a little grease on the end of the splines before you put them in there. Okay. And as well as on the shift shaft. Get it close to where I can see it. And then, there it goes. Okay. So now I want to come back down a little bit, look in there and make sure my shift shaft and my water pump is lined up. Okay, and once that's done, line up your locating pins and you're ready to get a bolt started. And if I can get this camera to focus up there, yes, you can see that I have gotten the shift shaft up into its receiving shifter. Okay, so there's the light on it now. So there's the water tube grommet there, but then just in behind it here is the shift shaft, and you can see how that's received in. Now the other, probably most important thing, is to make sure that, and this will be harder to see, is that that water pump tube, and you can kind of see it up there if I get this just where it needs to be, is indeed in the water pump housing. Up Okay, looks good to me. Time to button it up. Um, hope this helps a little bit with a 
uh, 50 horsepower four-stroke Yamaha here. They're easy to get the lowers off and back on. You know, no shift the mechanism up here. You got to take apart or anything. They just come right off. Um, make sure that you get the whole kit. Change everything in the kit, and you know, should be good to go for another five years. I'll talk to you soon.